Hi everybody, yes I'm the Spuddler and I'm on camera. Not something I'm very used to and I'm definitely not comfortable with. But I really just wanted to do this because I know that YouTube does want us to show our faces from time to time. There is a security issue around it and um, creators, especially in true crime, probably want to just occasionally put themselves on camera, even if it's a, just a video they do so they can manage how they look, so it's not alive, but it's a good thing to do. And it also really helps the viewers to be able to imagine your face while you're talking. Anyway, that's enough of me on camera because I hate it. What I wanted to talk to you today about was victims and victims' families. And a couple of things came up this week on some lives that I want to share with you. So over to my TV and let's get on with it. So whilst I was floating around YouTube, I settled on Grizzly because Grizzly True Crime is one of my favourite channels. And I came across this in her recent live about the Delphi case and I wanted to share it so that true crime creators out there are aware of the wishes of the family of the Delphi victims and hopefully bear this in mind when they're creating content, especially bearing in mind that the case is due to go to trial soon. So over to Grizzly and let's hear what she's got to say. Uh, one request would be to not share any hashtag to do with Richard Allen along with hashtag justice for Abby and Libby because that definitely upsets the families a lot. Um, so they've expressed that on social media that they created hashtag justice for Abby and Libby. You could use that on its own if you want. Don't put it with hashtag Richard Allen or any of the other hashtags. Okay, so are we ready? So I think that's quite clear. And if you're a true crime creator out there and you're thinking of following the Delphi case, please respect their wishes. So after watching Grizzly, I started to think about the victims as well as their families. And I want to give a shout out to Dietz, but also the channel Yep, who brought this to my attention. Their links will be in the description of this video. So I'm now going to play a short clip of Brandy Neal speaking on the panel of Deets on the Streets about her experiences as the mother of a missing child. And if you haven't come across Brandy Neal before, she is the mother of Michael Monkey Vaughan. And Michael is still missing. And this case is still very much an open and active one. Oh, and as a quick caveat, when you see the screen dim and then come back, that means I've edited some stuff out. I haven't taken away any of her message. I've just taken away some sounds, a bit of dead air, and a few little bits in there that I don't think are necessarily relevant. Brandy went on Dietz's panel, and there she talked about her experience as the mother of a missing child and the impact that YouTube and social media generally has had on her life. And she talks about some of the difficulties it's caused. Now I could go on and start talking about specifics, but really I just want you to listen to her words, hear her words, and then maybe think about it for a few minutes. I'm gonna show the missing poster for Monkey on the screen whilst we listen to Brandy. So share it if you can. Anyway, it's over to Brandy now. I'm a little tired and frustrated. And I've seen some things and heard some things. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and be as kind and understanding to everyone's feelings as I possibly can. Michael has been missing 990 days. Mm. Today makes 991. Now all this other stuff going on with everybody that I, it is just, it makes no sense. These families need support, whether you believe them or not, whether you, what, what, what your thoughts and everything are, there are other family members, there are children, everybody's going to have their opinion. And I learned a lot and I'm seeing these other families and I, I want to help them, mm -hmm. but it scares me because who do I trust anymore? I want to trust everything that the fact that they're going to do right by my son. So um, I just want everybody to take a breath and think what's going on. Stalking these people. Do you know what it's like to try and work after your child's been missing for a long period of time and people come and photograph you or um, stalk your home or call you a murderer to your face and you still have to work a six hour shift? 
whether your opinions and your feelings about a case, <laughs> think about think about the victim, the family member that's missing. What is important because guess what? When they're found or when they come home, that family, their loved ones, all of them, they still have to live every single day. Um, and honestly thought I was trying to help. And then this whole mess of the double-edged sword of <clears throat> you want to do everything to find your baby. You want to do everything. You go wherever you can. You'll do anything you can. But then you have people that take advantage of all of that. And it's going on. And I, 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 I was quick going through um, some things I heard today. Uh, the fast rate that it's going through that I'm watching some of these families. It's not. It, it's It's sick. Take a breath. Everybody take a breath. Do you know what it's like to have um, a smell or just see a toy? Or hear your little, your little one. So everybody is different. And I've learned a lot, a lot. And I always thought of myself as a compassionate person and being more divulged into social media. Um, I felt I was losing myself, my values, the person I am. Remember your morals. Remember your kindness. We all have our opinions, and yes, we are all different. Please remember what you're doing, everyone. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing these, these, these families, and I'm just like, God, no, please don't, don't let them feel that they're doing, they're, they're going through enough. You know, everybody has their speculate speculations. Everybody has their feelings. It's understandable. But to them in private, don't, don't put it on that family. You don't know. You don't. You don't know exactly what they're walking through every day. I'm afraid of what's going to happen with things progressing in my baby's case, and it scares the shit out of me because I don't want anything to jeopardize that and there have things to have that have been done that slightly have so um the best thing you can do in my opinion for these families and these loved ones keep sharing their pictures share the information and you have to remember that yes they're the number one victim is the one that's missing and that the number one goal is to bring awareness to them, to help get them home, to get the facts. Please share their facts, share their information, especially when it comes straight from law enforcement. Don't alter it. Don't alter it. Be a support to the parents, be a support to the family, the community, and law enforcement. Keep their face and their name out there and the facts, the facts. They're... Height, weight, name, age, where they went missing. Um, if there's a, you know, if there's a time frame, you know, the what they're what they're wearing. And remember, please remember, it's an ongoing investigation, and things change over time because it's an ongoing investigation. It's not sudden and dry. It's not CSI. It's not a forty-minute episode on TV. And no, we're not all picture perfect. And yes, we are all, you know, hot headed. And you've heard me. You know, you're this. human. You're human. Exactly. We're all human. And we all have our, our thoughts. We all have our opinions, which is perfectly fine. But take and give them a moment of grace, even in anger. Remember what's important. What is important is keeping our loved ones that are missing the focus. Keep them the focus. 
I'm not going to end this video with the usual sort of likes and shares stuff, but all I am going to say is any creators out there, anybody that does a YouTube channel and wants to share this, please feel free to. Obviously, I'm using other people's work here, but please put their links in your description if you do cover this. And it would be good to get these messages out to everybody. We need to start changing things. We need to start remembering that victims are human beings too. And we're sometimes making their lives even more difficult than they already are. And these families are experiencing the most unimaginable pain and emotional stress. And personally, I don't believe that any of us can truly imagine how they're feeling right now unless we end up in that situation ourselves. And I hope none of us ever do. If you were to ask me what the intention of this video is, it's probably just trying to put a little bit of civil back into civilization. Anyway, on that note, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you in chat sometime, somewhere, maybe.